Uh, well, Saturday night was the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner. Once again, President Trump did not attend. And today, he seemed to be upset about the jokes directed at his staff because this morning he tweeted, the White House Correspondents' Dinner is dead. <laughs> Again, can you call anything that's only televised on C-SPAN alive? <laughs> I mean, comedian Michelle Wolf hosted the dinner. She did the most amazing job. She was brilliant. <laughs> she was incredible. And during the dinner, she mocked journalists and politicians. So you can see why Trump was upset. She's stealing his act. <laughs> Trump declared the correspondence didn't. He said it was dead. Saying it's dead is what everyone does when they don't go to something. <laughs> I've been saying Coachella's dead for the past 10 years. <laughs> At least I'm not there. <laughs> so Trump skipped the correspondence dinner on Saturday night and instead he hosted a rally in Michigan. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Trump said he'd rather be around people who loved him. So he went to Michigan and left behind the White House press corps and Melania. Um, <laughs> at one point... At one point in the rally, Trump talked about his newest best friend. Take a look. Any Hispanics in the room? Hispanic? Nah, not so many. That's OK. <laughs> and by the way, in all fairness, Kanye West gets it. He got it. He gets it! <laughs> <laughs> gets what? <laughs> Kanye West gets what? The Hispanic people don't like you. Yeah, we all got that. We all got that. <laughs> Kanye gets it. Trump's the white guy in your office who has to prove he's not racist by constantly bringing up his one black friend. <laughs> even though it has nothing to do with the conversation. <laughs> and my friend Kanye West gets it. Sir, that's great. Do you want milk or cream? I don't know. <laughs> that's that. uh, some huge movie news this weekend. Marvel's Avengers Infinity War <laughs> broke the box office record. The opening weekend with $250 million in ticket sales. $250 million. That's nearly $1 for every character. <laughs> That's so much money, the Hulk is finally able to afford anger management classes. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. What was that? What was that? What even was that? Monday. What? <laughs> Monday blues. Monday? <laughs> Monday blues? <laughs> no, no. Don't you get. That's so much money, Iron Man is going to be gold man. Gold man, sax man. That's so much money. In the next movie, they're adding at least two more Hemsworths. <laughs> we could go on, but let's not. Um, and we had to tell you about this. Scientists in Australia just announced that the world's oldest known spider has died. Yeah, the spider died at the age of 43 <laughs> and is survived by 75 Brazilian children. <laughs> If you're wondering how they knew how old the spider was, they could tell she was 43 because she would not shut up about Soul Cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Changed her life. <laughs> you're right, sir. It's, it's not that funny. It's, a, it's, a, it's an okay joke. Is that because you're obsessed with Soul Cycle? Are you a couple? You're a couple, and you're also 43. Wow. OK. <laughs> We're drawing on a lot of experience for you there, sir. Reports say it was a tragic death. Apparently, what happened is the spider climbed up the water spout. And then <laughs> the rain came down. <laughs> Just watch that spider out. <laughs> Ironically, you know where I learned about this spider? Do you know where I learned about this spider? I learned about it on the web. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>